Business will radically change over the next five years. Massive conglomerates will start going bankrupt as 10-person underdogs will generate billions of dollars in revenue. And this is all powered by the exponential growth of AI technology. And if you don't jump on this train right now, you might miss out on a huge amount of money. Or even worse, get priced out of the market or become irrelevant. But don't worry, we're not going to let that happen because today I'm going to be talking to you about some specific use cases that you can implement in your business to slash your costs in half of operation and double your revenue overnight. Oh boy, that's quite a promise, Christian. Let's see what comes next. This is Scottish Sea Farms, the biggest salmon exporter based out of Scotland. And by implementing automation and AI, they were able to streamline more than 180 processes through 51 of their locations with 660 employees, ultimately saving them tens of thousands of man hours every single year. And no, these people were not replaced, they were just redirected to high impact tasks. And no, my friends, we're not talking about small fish. Wink, wink, like my pun there. Oh God, I really have to stop doing that. No, my friends, we're talking about a company that in 2024 reported $211 million in annual revenue. So if you think this is kids play, think again. In fact, here are three numbers that I think you'll like. According to McKinsey, 70% of work hours can be replaced with AI automation, meaning more time can be spent on tasks that actually move the needle. Two, according to IBM's AI adoption index, 44% of leaders using AI report reduced costs. And three, they also found that 72% of companies are currently already using AI, meaning that this is no longer a futuristic concept, but it's a must have that everyone has to adapt to. But the biggest problem is that most people know about AI, but they just don't know how to use AI within their company or within their specific use case to make it useful for them. And that's why today I'm gonna to be covering seven of these use cases for you to implement today. This first use case, let me ask you a question. How many hours have you spent in your entire life on PowerPoint. If you're anything like me, I have spent endless nights trying to perfect presentations for either customers, investors, or third parties. And usually the hardest part is the blank canvas, but I've created a new system that is absolutely amazing and efficient leveraging AI to do this automatically. So how does it work and which tools can you use to implement it? Well, for us, what we're trying to solve is that each time we have a new client that comes in the door for our AI automation agency, we have to create a custom proposal for them. And obviously that has to be highly catered to their specific use cases, their company, but these can take a long time to generate. So this is how we fixed it. We first built an AI agent that basically joined the meeting and was able to grab the transcript of a conversation between us and the customer, especially for conversations where we're going in detail in the process and how we intend to basically solve it. Now, as soon as that meeting is over, the transcript is automatically sent via automation to another AI agent. And that AI agent is responsible for creating a scope of work based on the conversation and the transcript we have. And once we have a scope of work, we can automatically transform that into a proposal. But obviously we want this proposal to be incredibly beautiful. So there's a final step that we use, which is awesome, that's gonna make it beautiful. You see, we use a platform called Gamma that allows you to, in plain English, basically feed it exactly what you want it to build as a presentation and it will build it out for you. It's incredibly efficient and you can use it yourself no coding required, but because we're a brand, we want it to be in our brand guidelines, right? We want it to have a logo, we want it to have all this other stuff. So we create a template. And then there are a couple of slides that have to change, right? Based on the specific scope and proposal of that customer. And voila, we suddenly have a first version presentation that our sales representative can go in and adapt last minute to make sure that it's all good before we send it off to a customer, saving us probably about 30 hours per proposal. So for us, creating proposals has become a lot more efficient. However, the way that we get these actual clients in the first place is because one of the first steps that we do is that we create content that attracts customers, right? Which is also another process that takes a lot of time. Thankfully, we created a system that allows you to create highly personalized content specific to you, your voice on autopilot. In fact, my buddy Cole over here used it for one week and here were the results. So let's talk about how you can do that for yourself. By the way, if you would like to automate your business or maybe even just the way that you work, then you might wanna check out our program called the AI Operator. It is an AI automation program that allows us to help you define exactly what to build out for yourself, to build out the automations and agents that you need leveraging one-on-one -on -one coaching, 
so that you can increase your revenue and save a bunch of time. The times of doing the busy work and being constantly in the grind are over, my friends. And every moment spent without automating things is a moment that you will spend and waste in the grind. So if you're interested, you can check it out below and you can apply for the program. And if it's a good fit, we'd love to work with you. Back to the video. Well, there are actually a couple of approaches to this, but I actually use an approach that my good old buddy, Simon Hoiberg over here, also a YouTuber, taught me. And it involves combining N8N to create agents with a platform called Founderstack. Now, Founderstack is three tools in one that allows you to make marketing super easy. One is called FeedHive, and it is a post scheduler similar to Hootsuite, but a lot cheaper and better. The other one is called LinkDrip. It's like Bitly, but again, a better version. And by the way, I know that Founderstack currently has a lifetime offer. I think it's like a thousand bucks or something like that. And you get this for life instead of paying monthly recurring things. So definitely worth checking out in the description. Anyway, the first step to this is basically to create individual agents, right? I'm gonna bring you here inside of my N8N and you're gonna see that basically we have several different agents we've created, right? One down here, idea generator. If you don't have an idea, then it's very difficult for you to actually implement it. Um, you need to have a brand brief. This is basically, think of yourself as a brand. You have your own tone, you have your own style of writing. You would write about this, but you wouldn't write about that. That's where we would include all of that. And we have a separate agent that does exactly that. Then if you combine both of those other ones, you and the ideas, we're now ready for the third piece, which is creating a content creator. And so this is what this automated content creator actually looks like. It takes different inputs. One is basically the ideas. The other one is actually something that I just speak an idea and then it automatically shoots it inside of this. And then we have an AI agent that is able to use the memory outside tools. It plugs into open AI and it's able to basically use that brand brief that makes this sound and look like you. And it outputs basically these highly optimized posts that then are sent over here to FeedHive. So it basically creates them as a draft inside of FeedHive and then you can just review and schedule them within the software itself. Meaning my friends that you can create dozens of posts in one hour and then you can schedule them to release over the next two months. Okay, so now the leads are flowing, the calls are coming in, but we start facing another problem which is what we're about to solve with this next AI tool, secretaries, yes? secretaries, right? Responsible for more than 90% of divorces in the 80s. No, that's, that's completely made up fact. We're talking about AI secretaries. You see, instead of having basically someone who answers the phone manually to answer the same five questions about opening hours, closing hours, specific FAQs, we can basically train a voice agent to take out a lot of the boring work and to keep your receptionists doing high impact tasks behind the front desk. And so these AI secretaries can either act as text-based assistants or you could also have them be voice agents. And there are usually two voice agent platforms that I like to use. One of them is called Vapi and the other one is called Synthflow. Both are no code builders, meaning that you don't have to learn how to code to be able to build out these agents. And you can do multiple things. You can have inbound calls that it answers. You can add a list of people that it should call with specific instructions. You can extract data from those conversations, send it potentially to your CRM, for example. And you could also reroute those calls towards a live agent if you wanna put them in touch with sales. So yes, this can save a good amount of time for you. But let's say now that we close one of these people, well, the next problem comes up, right? Onboarding. Some onboarding processes can be so frustrating and you're constantly doing the same thing over and over. You create a new Slack channel for the customer. You add the specific people responsible for the next step. You have them fill out information. Maybe you need some specific documentation from them. And all this coordination just takes a lot of energy and time. And so that's why we don't do that anymore. We found a better way. Spoiler alert, yes, it's using AI. <laughs> Okay, you probably already guessed that. But for this one, we basically automate each one of the tasks. And for that, we use a tool called Make. Make.com is an automation platform that allows you to also build agents that's really effective, right? And you can build individual automations for these different use cases that you can also run through AI. So it can be like an AI workflow. There's a lot of discussion around what the difference between agents and actual AI workflows are and agentic agents. You don't need to understand too, too much about that. Just think of it as an automation that has the intelligence of AI as well. So for example, when someone pays that first bill, I would like for it to create a new Slack channel add that person into it. Then we could have that person's information shot to our CRM and to our email marketing tool. We might have an onboarding sequence that comes via email 
that basically drips over the next three days so that we make sure that they're set up properly. It might shoot them in the members area if you have a members area that you want them to get access to. And you can have this entire chain of events happen leveraging this platform because we just use one trigger, the person paying inside of a tool like Stripe, and that is what triggers the actions. And don't worry, this will work for you because it connects to the existing tools that you already use. Awesome, so the customer's onboarded, but now we need to actually set up that first meeting. And that's where AI calendars and AI scheduling is just such a great idea. How many times have you sent a message to your friends? Hey, are you available from this time to that time? Have you done this or that? Well, there's a much better way and everyone in your company should be using it. Think of it as an assistant that you CC inside of your email and it basically is able to take it from there, suggesting times that are open in your calendar and confirming with the guest who you wanna bring in, who you've sent the email to. And for this, I actually use a tool called Lindy. It's a really cool and very easy way to build out these kind of agents. All you really have to do is create an account, connect your calendar, and it's basically going to bring you through a couple questions, and then you just say, okay, and suddenly you have an email address of that agent that you can just CC inside the emails when you're communicating to try to schedule a meeting. Oof, what a relief. How much time have we spent trying to schedule with each other? I know that I have wasted way too much of my life doing that and I hope you don't have to. Okay, so this next use case comes in really handy for me because I receive a lot of sponsorship requests for this channel to talk about software businesses. Problem is that I pretty much don't wanna work with anyone unless I really love the tool. So I've actually created an AI assistant that reads all of my emails, and if it says paid promotion or sponsorship, then it will basically categorize that email and export all of the information I need, which will usually be the contact, the brand, and uh, all the information and a little bit about the message inside of a spreadsheet so I can quickly just look through that spreadsheet once every couple of weeks and identify which sponsors I might wanna bring onto the channel. But yes, that's right. You can basically have AI read emails and if we fit a specific criteria, then a specific action can be taken, right? If this, then that, which is ultimately automation process, right? For this, I've built an agent leveraging N8N, the automation platform that I showed you a little bit earlier with the content creator. And I know that you might not have sponsors reaching out to you all the time, but imagine every time someone asked about your services, you'd be able to have an agent that easily is able to read those emails, categorize them, and create a list of all the uh, these leads so you could then get back to them. In fact, we can even make an automation that answers back to them based on your FAQs. And that currently means that there's probably a lot of these emails that we can easily answer without having to have you be involved at all, but having the same exact tone and answering what you would answer to. But anyway, we're getting too far ahead of ourselves. One big problem that sales teams often face is that they have lots of leads and they don't really know how to qualify them, how to prioritize them. And definitely if someone doesn't show up, that usually will end up in just a no-show and you may never find that prospect again. Well, this is a place where AI can really help out as well. Because guess what? If you're able to identify the best customers and to focus your energy or the energy of your sales team on closing those people, then you're probably gonna be able to grow your business instantly. Now for this, I would usually use a combination of tools, two specifically. One would be Airtable, which brings in and organizes all the data. And the other one would be Make, to be able to create automations from Airtable, which is kind of the database, think of it like your Excel spreadsheet, to be able to track and create plenty of triggers for when one thing happens, the other one happens. That then triggers an action for something else to take place. So a great example is that at our agency, when we have a request that comes in, that will automatically be populated inside of a spreadsheet. Again, we use Airtable. As soon as that new entry comes in, we basically have connected that so that we can enrich all the information, do additional research on that prospect, and then to create a sales playbook based on the profile of that individual so that our salesperson can very quickly have a targeted conversation where they understand a lot more about our customer and as such are able to increase the likelihood of having a good first call. But sometimes these individuals just don't show up, right? And this just happens to everyone, it's part of the deal. So what we've created is that we have a status, right? And if someone has a no-show status, that triggers an action. 
The action is to send them an automated email that tries to get them to book another call. And if three days later, we still haven't seen a booked call, it will trigger another one based on just a time delay. And so something that we've built now over time is a very lightweight and incredibly powerful system for sales that's specifically catered to our process. So salespeople don't have to deal with any of the BS. They can just be on calls or interacting with customers day in, day out. And because all the data is inside of this system, we can create dashboards on top of that to see where we're at in the sales process. And once you have systems, which are pretty much orchestrations of AI, right? Think of it like a symphony of different AIs that work with each other but that are controlled by humans through triggers. Then my friends, you have pretty much eliminated 70% of your busy time and can start refocusing on growth or high impact tasks. And so your ultimate goal as a business should be to grow with the existing team that you have by implementing smart systems and AI agents that are able to take off the heavy work. But what if you actually wanted to build software from scratch? Well. In that case, you would need a different set of tools and you can do that leveraging AI 100% and you can check out this video if you would like to do that. Why? Well, because I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step exactly how to build out web apps and launch them without coding at all, right? AI. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. I love you, my friends. See you in the next video. Let's go!